Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, how can we bind two UI view positions using Rx Swift? Let's break down the question. Our viewer wants to automatically change the position of view two whenever view one's position changes. They've tried observing the frame of view one using Rx Swift, but it only prints the frame at initialization and not when the position changes due to constraints. The code they use to observe the frame is not capturing changes when the constraints are updated. This raises an important question. Is there a way to continuously observe or bind the positions of these views? Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you get through that resolution. So let's continue on. To bind the position of two UI views using Rx Swift, we first need to observe the frame of view one. This will allow us to react to any changes in its position. However, observing the frame directly may not capture changes made through constraints. Instead, we can observe the center property, which updates when the view's position changes. Now, when view 1's center changes, we can update view 2's center to match it. This creates a binding between the two views. Make sure to dispose of the subscription when it's no longer needed to prevent memory leaks. You can do this in the dinit method. With this setup, whenever you change the position of view one using constraints, view two will automatically update its position accordingly. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To bind two UI view frames using Rx Swift, you can observe the frame of a UI view, like a map view, using the driver. This allows you to react to changes in the frame. This method effectively tracks the frame changes of the map view and logs them ensuring you have the latest frame information. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To bind two UI views in Rx Swift, Remember that using frame can be problematic if the view is transformed. Instead, focus on using bounds and center for accurate positioning. You can observe changes to bounds or center to manage the positioning of your views effectively. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. You can't directly observe UIView.Frame because it's not KVO compliant. Instead, focus on the events that cause your view to change size. And that's it. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. And until next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.